Okay, so the first thing a firm has got to do is ask themselves, what's the profit maximizing quantity of production? In other words, um, at what production level do I earn the most profit possible? After they check that, they have to check to make sure that the industry is profitable. In other words, at that um, point of production, can they earn a profit that's greater than or equal to zero? After that, the next step is to find how much capital and labor um, they need in order to produce that profit maximizing quantity of production in a way that minimizes their costs. And so for that, we need ISO costs and ISO quant um, diagrams in order to project out the cost minimizing way of producing that quantity that they want to produce. And so let's start with ISO costs. For ISO costs, we're gonna graph capital and labor um, on the Y and X axis. And then we're gonna look at, if we have a certain number of dollars in our pocket, what are all the combinations of capital and labor that I can afford given the prices of capital and labor that I face in the marketplace? So in this scenario, you can see that I'm saying, that the firm has $20 in their pocket, and if they spend all their money on labor hours, they can have at most 20 divided by that per hour wage rate of $2, or they can walk away with 10 labor hours. Now, this isn't at all what they would choose, this is just about what they can afford. Conversely, if they spend all that $20 on capital, the rental rate for, for capital is $1, so they can have at most 20 hours of robots. And so that would be an example of how we map out the different costs of production um, between capital and labor, um, given that we have a certain amount of dollars in our pocket. So that's just about what we can afford. If we come over here, this, is, this ISO quant is about what is technically available to me. So I might go to engineers or entrepreneurs or um, experts on organizing labor to find out if I want to produce a profit maximizing quantity and I set marginal cost equal to marginal revenue out pops three units of production. That's my goal. That's where profit is maximized. Then these represent all the combinations of capital and labor that will physically get that job done, independent of how much it will cost. This is about what's physically available. So I can have a very capital intensive process or I can have a very labor intensive process. Um, and so in this case, we're just mapping out on the ISO quant the combinations of capital and labor. So I can have, um, maybe this is three units of labor and maybe this is five units of capital or I can have maybe 10 units of labor and two units of capital or any combination thereof. So in our next video, we're gonna put them together um, and find the actual profit maximizing quantity.